All right, I am here with the team with easily the coolest number in the competition, Team 2468. I will not forget that number. I Probably no one else does. That's awesome. Does anybody give you the cheer 2468? Who do we appreciate? Do you hear that a lot? Uh, yeah, uh, we do for the most part. Is that, is that on purpose? Do they know that that's your team number? Yeah, that's sort of a big part of our team. Everyone can like relate with that number, so that's how people know us. That's awesome. Now, I'm from Austin. This team is from Austin as well, so obviously they have a special place in my heart. Now, how did you guys make it to the World Championships? What did you have to do? Well, we uh, what, this year we actually didn't qualify by the competition. We qualified two years back. We got through a program that I'm not entirely sure how it works, but we were able to get into Atlanta. But And then we hopped on a bus and drove 18 hours here. 18-hour bus ride. That's awesome. Now, did the, bu did the robot have its own seat on the bus? Where, where was the robot? Uh, it was in the crate. Under the bus? No, uh, we shipped it here from our Houston Regional. Okay. Well, very, very cool. Well, guys, that's awesome that you're here, and congratulations. Now, this robot, if there was one thing that you could make your robot do that isn't allowed in the competition, what would you have your robot do for you? Any ideas? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. No question. What would you do? What could you do? Anything you wanted to do, what would you do with your robot? Explosive charges, like spinning blades that come out of the side to like hijack other teams? The first thing is we wanted to make like uh, an idea I've, I've been kind of toying with on, in, for the off seasons. I want to make a, a robot that kind of shoots like foam balls at football and basketball games. So we got the contest this year. I was like, maybe I can make that ball shooting robot after all. Just big old vacuum on it and shoot the, it. Shoot the soccer ball. That's awesome. Great. Now what's this, this top I've never seen before? Not a lot of people do this. What is this top made out of? Anybody, wanna, anybody know how to talk to that? Well, this is actually carbon fiber, and Lauren's actually the person who is in charge of making it, so she can explain it. So how did you make this? Um, we actually built the whole thing from scratch. We started with, like, we made a positive mold, and then we made a negative mold with fiberglass on top of that. We actually have this right here, which is what we made this from. And then you just lay it in uh, carbon fiber cloth, resin. Well, that's really cool. Now, Austin, I know you're the programmer for LabVIEW. What was your experience with how much? How long have you been using LabVIEW, and what did you think this year? Um, first, like this this season at first was the first time I ever used LabVIEW, and so it's the first time I've ever been exposed to it. So I don't know, like ten weeks I've been using it. You've been programming it for just a couple months, then? Yes. Very cool. Well, again, this is Team Two Four Six Eight, right from the heart of Texas, Austin, Texas. Good luck, guys, and congratulations for being here.